Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss back again with another video and today we're going to do a quick unboxing of the Motorola E. Now, shout out to everybody who watched my videos. You know only buy the flagship devices. Well, I happen to have a friend that works at Motorola. Shout out to Andrea. And she sent me this phone to check out. So let's check it out. Now, since this is an unboxing video, y'all know I hate talking about specs, but let's get through some of the specs real quick, the main ones that you need to know. First up, the price. All right, now, pay attention. This is the most important spec right here of this phone, the price. It's going to run you $100, anywhere from $100 to $125, depending on where you buy it from. Now, I went through Amazon. I found some links. I'll throw them up in the description. It comes in two colors. You got black or white. So the cheapest one I found for black was $115. And I found a white one for 125 bucks. All right, now this is a GSM phone, so you could use it with T-Mobile, you can use it with AT&T, or you can buy prepaid cards for this. All right, so this is a really, really inexpensive phone. Let's check out the specs from the back of the box. Let's see, you got a sharp 4.5 inch QHD display with Corning Gorilla Glass. That's a nice touch. It's made by Motorola, so you know it's quality. It's water resistant coating inside and out. All right, so you got a water-resistant coating on this. You have a powerful 1.2 gigahertz quad-core processor. All right, let's see, uh, pure Android. All right, so no skin on this one. You got a 5-megapixel camera on the back, and you got a VGA camera on the front. Okay, as far as the battery, this has a 2,390 milliamp battery. Okay, so this is a really, really cheap, inexpensive phone. Let's pop it open and see what it looks like. Let's see what you get inside the box also. Okay, 100 bucks, fellas. This is a throwaway joint. Now, if you don't know what that means, I'll explain that at the end of the video. But this is a nice, nice, inexpensive phone. If you got kids and you want to get one for the kid that keeps losing phones all the time, like my daughter, you get her something like this. Especially if all they're going to be doing is sending text messages, playing around on Instagram, and taking a whole bunch of pictures. You know, you might not want to spend three, dollars $400 on a high-end phone. Get something like this. Or if you already got a high-end phone and you're looking for that backup phone, this is something you want to check out. And we'll talk about that at the end of the video. All right, so you get your charging cable, micro USB charging cable. You get your usual books and shit. Y'all know, file this to the side. And here's the actual device. Okay, let's, uh, let's power this on, see if we got any battery fresh out the box. Might have to charge this up for a few minutes. Yeah, let me grab let me grab the um let me grab one of these portable battery chargers. I got a thousand of them on deck. Let's see. Which one are we gonna use? <laughs> Talk amongst yourself, fellas. Let me just grab one of these. Let's see. I got the Vivis Knight. Matter of fact, let's grab the Chiro joint. And I need a cable. Let me just get a cable. Alright. We'll plug this in and see if we got any juice. And while we're waiting for this to charge. Like I was saying, this is a nice little backup phone right here. I just really want to test it and see how it works, though. See if um if it has any lag and all that. But it's, it's stock Android, so it shouldn't lag out too much. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we're going to power this on. Got zero battery right here, so we let it charge for a few minutes. And uh, we'll see what happens. Now, let's see. Any other specs that we need to talk about? It does take a micro USB card. Let's see. Um... Let's see how we get this battery off on the back. Oh, matter of fact, let's see. Where do we put the micro, <laughs> the, the SIM card and stuff in? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> well, we'll figure that out. This is just an unboxing video, so we'll have to play with it and see what happens. Now, let's see. Like I said, this is a, re a review unit, so it came with a couple of fingerprints already. But shout out to Andrea. She dropped the SIM card in here for me already. So I, what I will do is I'm going to test it out for a whole week. I'm gonna use it. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm gonna use it as much as I can for the week, and I'm gonna give y'all my honest opinion. But let's look around the phone anyway while we're here, while we're waiting for get a little charge. Let's make sure this is on. Yeah. Okay. On the back, you got your typical indentation with the Motorola symbol. Here goes your five megapixel camera. No flash on this. On one side, you got your power button with the ridges on it. Okay, and you got your volume up and down rocker. Now, the good thing with the power button with the ridges on it. This way, when it's in your pocket, you'll feel the difference between the power button and volume up. On the other side, no buttons. Top, no buttons. You just got your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And on the bottom, micro USB charging port. So that's basically it. Let's uh, clean the front off. 
Okay, so 4.5 inch display. All right, zero juice in this. All right, now what I'll, what I'll probably do, maybe I'll charge it up for a few minutes. Let me pause the video and charge it up. But in the meantime, let's just do a quick size comparison. Now, I'm not going to pull out all of the heavy-duty phones because you already know how this 4.5-inch phone is going to look next to a Galaxy Note or iPhone 6 Plus. doesn't even make any sense. But if you just want to get an idea of the size, this is what it looks like next to a Galaxy S6. Okay, so it's a lot smaller than the S6 or your S6 Edge, which is the same size. A lot smaller. Let's see. I'm going to pull out only the small phones. Okay, iPhone 6. Okay, smaller than the iPhone 6. And smaller than your HTC One M9. So it's a really, really small, compact phone. Okay, now when I said throwaway phone, that's kind of slang for backup phone. All right, now this is the kind of phone that you drop a prepaid card in. You get a little battery charger just like this, and you can just leave it in your car. Fellas, let me talk to the fellas real quick. All of the fellas out here doing dirt, you want to come home, you want to have your phone unlocked on the table, do that. You have a little backup phone in the car with all your dirt on it. <laughs> all right, this is a nice little trap phone. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But basically, if you're buying this phone for your dad or your moms, and they're not really too tech heavy, they don't care about, you know, the latest Snapdragon processor. They don't care how many megapixels the camera is. They're probably not going to use it too much. They don't really care about, you know, expandable memory because it comes with comes with eight gigs internal memory and you have one gig of RAM. Now, if this is going to be a backup phone, you don't really care about that either. And little kids, they're not going to care about that too much either. Now, this day and age, all right, at this day and age, there's no excuse to not have a backup phone. All right, you should never be somewhere where you got your phone on you and your phone battery dies and that's it. And you're out of luck. Don't ever do that. Right now, it costs you an extra, you know, a couple of dollars to add an extra line of service. Get yourself an extra line. Get yourself a backup phone. Now, you see I got my gear watch. This is kind of like my backup phone right here. Because no matter where I'm at, if I lose my phone, if I leave it in my gym bag, if I leave it in the car somewhere, I always got an extra phone on me. Now, if you want to have a backup phone, you might not want to have an iPhone 6 and your backup phone is a Galaxy Note 4. Two big giant phones. You might want to have a small phone or a little small, as we say, throwaway phone. All right, that's just for, you know, if you got a Galaxy Note, this would be a throwaway phone. Or if you're buying it for your parents or your kids, this would be a nice little uh, quality phone for them. Really cheap, though. Let's see if we got any uh, enough juice to start it up yet. Not yet. Okay, here we go. We're going to start it up and see what it looks like. Keep in mind now the price. All right, $100. $100 basically, after taxes, you're looking at $125 bucks for this. So you buy this for $125 bucks. You buy a little prepaid SIM card, drop $50 on it. You're still under $200, and you got a fully functional phone. Now, y'all know the Nexus 6 is, is in my top three. Okay, so I already know Motorola makes quality phones. Let's see, Android's upgrading. Okay, let's see. Let's, um, let's, uh, let's skip all of this. Let's skip all this and see if we can just get to the main screen. We'll, we'll get back to all of this, this other stuff later. Let's see, let's see. Talk amongst yourself, fellas. Y'all know this is the boring part. Okay, but live videos right here, no editing. Okay, so let's see. Stock Android on this. Okay, not too many apps pre-installed. Let's open and close some stuff real quick. All right, no, right now I didn't set up the Wi-Fi and all of that, so we'll have to play with it, but... um. Out the box, it seems pretty smooth. Keep in mind, a hundred dollar phone. All right, so you're not expecting, you know, the top of the line phone. But if it works, and it so far it looks like it's working nice and smooth, you see how fast the app tray opens and closes. Stock Android on this one. Okay, so this looks cool. This looks cool. I'll do a full real uh, a full real review. Probably in about a week. All right, now y'all know. Just because I got it for free, I'm not going to say it, act like it's the top of the line, it's the best phone ever. Basically, anything on my channel is getting an honest review, and I'm going to give you the honest review. But just off the price alone, 100 bucks for a stock Android phone, you, you know, you can't go wrong with this. You can't go wrong with this. Let's see. Uh, okay, yeah, so we'll set, up, we'll set up everything in a minute and play with all the features. Let's, let's get maximum brightness on this. 
and see how the screen actually looks. Now, as far as if you want to get the real tech specs, the resolution is 540 by 960. Okay, that's 245. Uh, what is it? 245? That's about 245 PPIs. All right. <laughs> the PPIs is 240. <laughs> 240, 245. Okay, but it looks cool, though. It looks cool right out the box. Water, water resistant, waterproof, water resistant. I forgot which one it was. What did it say in the box? Let's see. Was it water resistant or waterproof? Water resistant. All right, so you got water resistant coating, so you can't go swimming with it. But if you drop it in the toilet, pull it out real quick, you should be fine. But it feels, it has a nice rubber feel to it. It kind of looks like a baby Nexus. Right, it looks like a small Nexus. This looks cool, though. For hundred bucks. Now I know what you're saying. You could, you know, it, it. This is not a phone that you're gonna really want to get if your contract is up and you had a Galaxy Note 4. You're not gonna go backwards down to this. Like I said, this is the backup phone. This is the secondary phone. This is the phone for all the little kids. And this is probably your parents' phone because you know now I'm gonna keep it real. I, I, when I got my pops uh, uh, LG G3, and you know he. I looked at it a couple of days ago and it looked basically like it just came out the box. Like you don't really use all those features, don't really care about all those stuff. And um basically wasted an extra couple of hundred dollars when I could have got something like this for a hundred bucks and it would have done the same purpose. And it looks pretty smooth though. Don't see it lagging out. I thought it would have been, you know, real stiff, but it looks smooth right now. But let's load up all of the apps. Let's get it real heavy. Let's get it real dirty. And we'll do the real review next week and see what it looks like. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. All right, it comes in black or white too. This might be the new, this might be the new trap phone though. All right. <laughs> Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. Shout out to everybody that rock with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the Amazon Warrior on Sundays. Y'all already know, Dream Gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. All right, I'm about, I don't know. Um, I'm kind of feeling this, though. I like this. I like the little build. Let me, let me pull out my Nexus real quick just to show y'all. It kind of looks, now my Nexus is completely dead, but it kind of looks like a baby Nexus. Okay, now you see the Nexus, it looks like it doesn't have a flash, but the flash is, is built in on the sides. So this one has no flash. All right, but this is a nice little joint right here. We'll play with the camera. We'll take a few pictures, 5 megapixel camera.